gentlemen, welcome to NJPW Puro Resu Review. I am your co-host, Andre C, and right here to my right on the screen, my left in real life, is Melball. How are we doing today? Hey, we're doing pretty good, Andre. It is Halloween today when we're recording. It is my witching hour, so to speak, my time of the year. This is my favorite, favorite time of the year. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. I can't complain too much. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. And we've been taking in some amazing wrestling for this last championship or sorry, tournament. Always seems though every time we turn around, we've got another tournament coming out of NJPW here, man. Um, what, this one is going to be about in Japan are crazy. It's yeah, the, no this talk. one is for the newly minted um, world TV title. Is that the right yeah. order? The, TV world. Yeah, title, I just call it the NJPW <laughs> Television Championship or the IWGP Television. Whatever. It, it's it literally says New Japan World on it, so it's the New Japan World title to me. So. <laughs> <laughs> the world is our wonder. <laughs> yeah. uh, before we kick the, the full off i want to think i uh, give a big shout out to rogue energy thank you for sponsoring this show if you go you scan the qr code down in the bottom and mel's got the uh, mina shirakawa special as we call it uh water bottle there uh if you scan the, bar, the qr code down in the bottom or grab the link at the bottom of the screen and use code ole pause you get 10 percent off your order and so we are going to move on to a very energetic tournament to so go in this, especially a few of these matches, like were very quick. So they're mm -hmm. not like time wise, but they were like the the intensity in them were, were really, really 100%. crazy. And we started yeah. with a very in well, start with a very interesting match I found in uh, Toriano versus the Great Okan. Now this one was interesting to say the least. Is it's a lot of Yano's regular comedy shtick, but. With Okan acting the way he did, he very much uh, cr cr turned Yano into his almost into his wrestler style for a little bit in this match. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, very, very much so. Yeah, and right off the top, we got the worst ring announcer in history <laughs> of Gideon Gray announcing uh, the great Okan in the ring. But I, what I do like about this is it, it puts a, a feature on the great Okan. Mm -hmm. By having someone else, especially doing it in English in Japan, is mm -hmm. a I think it's it's a big feature for his character, in my mm -hmm. in how I feel about it. Yeah, yeah, I have to agree. It does kind of give um, you know us English uh, viewers something to to listen to in regards to the Great Okan. He does overwhelmingly seem to be the mouthpiece for the uh, the faction. Otherwise, it's nice to see that Gideon Gray has something other like something to do other than lose. Um, in this tour. <laughs> it it um, seems like it, yeah. Yeah. Though we got to say, I mean, Kevin, Kevin Kelly, be nicer, man. Simmer oh, your he, boobies there. Yeah, he, he's really been mean. <laughs> like, I understand Chris Charlton. They're both from the same country. And he, they're both from England. He hates the upper class. Whatever. That's one thing. <laughs> Kevin Kelly, he just, just shits all over him for no he's apparent savage. reason. savage. <laughs> that is the definition of savage right there, Mr. Kelly. Um, yeah. Something I did note about this match right away was the the throwing of the turnbuckles. Um, oh, Yano is gone, typically, so yeah, Yano's always time. known for taking at least one off. Here, it felt like the, he was going for all of them and just almost pinataing them at Okan, having to to avoid them on the outside. There, um, mm -hmm. I did feel that this match was overall almost like a straight up wrestling match um, for these two guys um, going some, to some of their some... amateur routes. Yana had his goofy stuff where he like he oh, did tape the braid to the to the barricade on the outside and Gideon yeah. Gray did get it unwrapped and Khan made it back. And they, that's when mm -hmm. like I see yeah, he wrapped his braid, then he's going to get back in. And that's where Yano whipped the corner pad at him, knocking him down. But he did get back in at 19. But mm -hmm. and then so Khan chokes Yano with the braid. And Marty Asami will not count the pin. This is again, do your goddamn job. <laughs> count the pin. He's pinning him. Count the pin. And this isn't the this isn't the only time I'm going to shit on Marty Asami on this podcast. He, <laughs> he screws up later on. Yeah, I'm, nah. Yeah, well, he does. He doesn't. He, he doesn't screw up. And it. Mm, it's this. This is why I can point to Marty Asami sucks at his job. <laughs> Takes bumps <laughs> like a good wrestler, though. Yeah. Oh, very much so. But it, but yeah, I honestly I thought they did a good job, both men, uh, with the wrestling. Yano pulling a lot of his crap. Uh, in the end. 
Um, Khan goes for the Eliminator, and, and the lights just go out. Uh, and then out on the outside, a, a mysterious man in a purple costume appears. Nobody knows what's going on. and Of strange size and stature, yes. And, and Kevin Kelly starts going, oh, I know who that is. And he pulls up the mask. It's the great Muda. Yeah, mm -hmm. Muda is there, and he spits the green mist into the face of Okan, who tries to get in his face, and Yano rolls him up and gets the win. Again, a very Yano way to win a match, 100%, in my opinion. I have to agree. It was, it was a very nice way to um, have both men still kind of coming out of the match looking strong, and now we have the chance to see the great Okan again going against the great o Muda. Which would be uh, especially with over. Yeah, and 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 considering this is is Muda's kind of last kind of hoorah within the, or at least he claims his last hoorah within professional wrestling right now, um, you know, I, I I personally can't wait to see these two kind of tangle up. I, I'm disappointed it is going to be a six person tag, but hey, better in something than nothing at all, right? Hey, like, and only a couple of days after this, Muda got announced to be facing uh, WWE superstar Shinsuke Nakamura. In, at, the, at the Noah, at, at the Noah January first, Noah new begin their New Year card. So that's going to mm -hmm. like, and then he's got Sting later on in the month in his final match. Like I think he's teaming with Sting or something. Like that. But like mm -hmm. that, like Muda's got a like a path towards the end here, and I'm mm -hmm. glad he's doing a match in New Japan because again, New Japan is a big part of his history. This is mm -hmm. where he started. This is where he got his fame. And then he did, yes, he had, there was contention and he left, uh, went mm -hmm. to, zero, I think it was zero one. And yeah, so you got it. You look at it and I'm very happy he's back and I'm very mm -hmm. happy to see him work with guys like Great Ocon and Jeff Cobb. I am very excited to see that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Moving and on to Aaron, our next And Aaron game. Hanare too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that guy, yeah. <laughs> I, I, hey, no shade on Aaron Hunter. He's, he's very, he, I very much enjoy this. Moving on to the other match on the October 26th show, it was Ren Narita taking on Tomohiro Ishii, Shibata Jr. taking on one of Shibata's biggest rivals in Tomohiro mm -hmm. Ishii, in my opinion. I mm -hmm. absolutely thought this was a barn burner. I think this is the match I took the most notes for because <laughs> there was so much to take notes for because the, the constant striking they were just mm -hmm. beating the living hell like Ishii would throw one hard one putting Narita down but then Narita would come back and just hit like four just brutal shots mm -hmm. to equal Ishii and I thought the slap exchanges the the, the belly to belly suplexes from Narita <laughs> were so good like this kid is getting like just absolutely phenomenal and and he's only a few match is only a few weeks into his return to New Japan proper. Mm -hmm. But if you watched him all through his uh, run over in North here over here in North America, he was doing absolutely phenomenal. And I love the fact that they're they're creating a new Shibata with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to agree. Um, I've been a huge fan of Narita since his Young Lion days. Um, he just seemed to have that drive and that passion and that just dedication to what it is that he's doing and you're absolutely right he is a shibata junior he literally looks like shibata at, at 21 i just realized our background's been wrong the entire damn time eh. <laughs> it's so pretty though <laughs> but yeah um narita in right. this match there it is um, there it is i gotta i gotta fix sorry <laughs> <laughs> In this match, um, Narita was wrestling, I thought, very, very smart against Ishii. Um, and I think yeah. that uh, goes into the history that Shibata does have with Ishii. Um, he undoubtedly coached um, Narita before this to, to get him to know what it is that, that um, you know, he needs to do to take Ishii down. And you're absolutely right. They were just feeding each other the entire time. One of my notes here there is that just Ishii fed Narita the whole match, but Narita managed to keep up. And it was that belly-to-belly -belly suplex at the end that allowed Ren Narita to get that pin on Ishii. Um, I, is that called the Narita special still? Yes, uh, that's at least what Kevin Kelly's calling it is the Narita special. Yeah. I really love, like, Ishii, I, I, Ishii was going for this vertical drop <laughs> rainbuster, and Narita fights out, hits a roundhouse kick, and then hits that Narita special to get the mm -hmm. three. I absolutely loved it. Like, I... 
have been such a like I it just in a, the few matches I've seen of Narita since coming back. And again, I was locked in on this kid before, but he is just like I'm I'm like this man needs to win this title. I truly believe that they built that this title is is going to be Ren Narita's. Now we'll get to who's eventually going to be there, but I want Ren Narita to win out this tournament. I think he is absolutely phenomenal in in what he is doing. And I think this kid is going to be a star for this company. I'm not going to disagree with you there. I mean, this kid, again, has been on my radar since he was a young lion. So, you know, everything you're saying there is everything I've already thought. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to move on to the next match. It, 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 this one took place on the October 27th show for uh, New Japan's Battle Autumn Tour. 